there's no guarantees with anything and we're just trying to take each day as it comes. Angela Stubbe cherishes each of those days. Days six months ago, she thought she might never have with her husband. With a brain injury, um, there's always a chance that you're going to get worse before it gets better. Angela spoke with us back in November, just after Gary's wreck in El Tour de Tucson that put him in University Medical Center. He's uh, awake and talking now. He's very confused. He does not know um, exactly what's going on. Just one day after the accident, Stuby was taken from University Medical Center in Tucson and brought by ambulance here to St. Joseph's Hospital in Phoenix. Every time a doctor would come in the room, there would be um, there was more bad news. Gary's brain continued to bleed, and you can see by these scars, he had to have surgery to relieve the pressure. He actually uh, went through two surgeries in a matter of two days to remove um, damaged tissue. He was then put in a medically induced coma where he stayed just like this for over a month. And everybody kept saying one step forward and two steps back. And I was like, I can't take any more steps back. In February, no more steps back. Gary woke up with part of his memory intact. It was a big relief for me and for the kids to see him and to see that he remembers their names and their birth dates, huh? <laughs> While he remembered some things, others didn't come so easy. That's why he's in rehab, working with therapists at St. Joseph's in Phoenix three days a week. The recovery is going to be continuous, probably uh, could be lifelong, probably intense recovery for the next year to two years.